move with chop your head. Hey. Max money, move what the world with black magic. Go to anybody where you after me. A few moments later, I move with chop your head. Hey. Max money, move what the world with black magic. Go to anybody where you guys welcome back to my channel give this video a like and don't forget to click that subscribe button and the bell icon so guys i realized that dancer artists are now more comfortable and brave with adding lyrics about obia or some people might call it black magic voodoo witchcraft or in jamaican terms guzu in their songs now in most recent times artists like valiant sing a song about science and most recently he dropped a song entitled sainty where he said big up my saying someone with me of the sainty so you guys get the idea of what that song is about and you guys can definitely check that out as well now another dancer artist that also sings about the gozo he goes by the name rajawad and one of his songs the lyric actually says that he will gozo anybody that the lady f after him that's dark now to be completely honest i'm the type of person where i believe that everybody should have the right to express themselves religiously any way shape or form once it's not causing any harm or injuries to anybody else now with that being said i wasn't really listening or believing the, the science the gozu the obia lyrics that i'm hearing in the songs of some of these artists but these days it's actually becoming even more convincing now to extend on raja Wild a bit Rajawa recently made a post on his Instagram and on his Instagram story as well where he is holding this book in his hand. Now the book says dark rituals and it has that popular star with the eye in the middle and then it says the author is Brittany Knight and then the name cut off a bit but luckily I was able to find all the information about this book. Now the author of the book is Brittany Nightshade and at first I was thinking this book was probably just in order to prop or you know something that is probably not so legit or anything like that but I found the information about the book and the book is actually written by a reputable person who is known in the field of witchcraft and writing grimoires as in books about witchcraft she goes by the name Brittany Nightshade and this is the information about her. Brittany Nightshade is a solar practitioner of witchcraft and has catalogued and released several grimoires and other various works about witchcraft. That's the information about the lady or the person that wrote the book that Rajawal is holding in his hand here. Now, the specific information about the book that Rajawal is holding and this book is also available on Amazon, which means people can actually order it. Now, the information about this book, it says, Best-selling author Brittany Nightshade has released a new book of spells containing plethora of black magic and dark rituals. This book of shadows has a wide assortment of new and old spells and rituals that when masters have the potential to grant power, wealth, and anything else you might desire. Your enemies won't stand a chance when you wield the power of these dark sorceries. Whether you wish silence, curse, hex, or utterly destroy your opposition, there's sure to be a spell to fit your needs. If bending the world to your will is a goal, this is the spell book for you. Brittany doesn't overcomplicate things and gives you concise instructions on to complete each ritual. She also supplies you with contact information in case you have questions about any of the rituals in the spell book. Dark magic, also known as black magic, is a gateway to powers that you've always had but didn't know how to tap into. With guidance and the proper rituals, you will be on your way to gaining enlightenment clairvoyance and the sense of control and mastery over the dark arts so that's the information about the book that rajawal is holding here in his hand that says dark rituals and the author is Brittany nightshade let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section and as i said i don't have any problem with any religious stuff or you know anything that anybody want to practice as long as it doesn't cause any harm or inflict any injury on anybody that's my honest belief about people that want to practice or go any, under any other religions and so forth that's my honest belief but this right here is definitely i would say convincing about the arts of guzu but let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section and don't forget to give this video a like 
and click the subscribe button and that bell. Until then, walk good, stay safe and peace out.